Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Galveston as recorded by Glenn Campbell on guitar. Now this is an awesome tune that uses a little riff and a really cool chord progression. I'm going to take you through the whole song so when you're done with this video you'll have everything you need to go and play right along with the original recording. Now keep in mind I am going to use a capo on the first fret. So the song is in the key of F, but I'm just going to capo here on the first fret and then play everything in E. Before we dive in though, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome PDF cheat sheet that's just a handy fretboard guide that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I put it all on just one page so you can download this, print it out, and keep it on your music stand or on your desktop as just a super handy resource as you keep learning more about guitar and just filling in your fretboard knowledge. So check that out as my gift to you. You can grab your copy at johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Galveston as recorded by Glenn Campbell on guitar. Now we're going to start off with this little pickup that leads us into a four bar intro. Here's what it sounds like. One, two. <laughs> Glenn is in there singing Galveston. So what I played was I started out, a uh, couple things to keep in mind first is I do have my capo on the first fret and I'm playing you know, in the key of E, but it's sounding in the key of F. So it's basically E bumped up one fret. So make sure you have your capo on. You could play it without the capo. It's just gonna sound a little lower and you can't play along with the recording. But I've got my capo and then I'll be saying all these frets in relationship to the capo. So we're gonna start with this lick. And that's gonna be the second fret of the fifth string. We're gonna go two, four, two. Then you come up one string and you do a hammer from two to four, then back to two. Then you go to an E chord. Okay, so I, I first just start by playing that low E of the E chord. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, then we do it again, but we don't do the hammer. We just go. So the very first time on the recording, you hear that hammer on. But then later you just hear without the hammer on. Okay, so it's that little lick, then the E chord, then the lick, then the E chord. Then you go one, two, and three, four, and we're into the verse, okay? Now this comes throughout this song, this little progression here. We're gonna play an E for two beats. One, two, and then we go three, four, and this is an A chord to a B chord. That's just a one finger A and then a B chord playing from the fifth string down two, four, four, four. Then from there we go into the verse. So one, two, and three, four. Galveston. That's the whole verse progression there. So let me break it down for you just bar by bar here. We're gonna start on an E chord. One, two, and three, and four, and then we go A, B, E, and that's just quick. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Then we go to an E major seven. Three, four. So that's open to one, one, open, open. So we took that E chord, 
We just changed one note in it to make it an E major 7. And then we change another note, we take that index finger off, and you've got an E7, so open, two, open, one, open, open. So Galveston note, A, B, E, E, E major 7, E7, A. Okay, then we go one, two, and three, four. Do this little walking bass line from the A. One, two, and three. Open fifth string, then fourth fret of the low E. Then we go to F sharp minor. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, E7, A. Walk the bass, F sharp, B7, E major 7, E7, A. Walk the bass. Okay, so basically what's happening here is most of the chords are moving two beats each. So F sharp minor, one, two, that's just a bar chord on the second fret, two, four, four, two, 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 to B7 from the fifth string down, two, one, two, open two. Then E major seven to E7, it's that same move we just did, one, two, three, four, then A, two, then walk the bass. Okay. Then again, F sharp minor, B7. This time, though, we're going to go up to C sharp minor 7. So. Okay, so this is the last four bars here we go of the, of the verse. So we go C sharp minor. You could just stay there, but if you want a more advanced version, you go and play. That's C sharp minor to C sharp minor major seven. That's four, six, six, five. And then what you do is you go four, six, five, five. So I'm doing a bar there with my middle finger. One, two, three, four, then A, two, then one and two and three and four and this is an A chord but I put the B in the bass. Glenn would use this chord all the time. One and two and three and four and one, two and three, four. Then that's like the intro. A, B. Okay, so backing up. And this is where Glenn sings, I still see her standing by the water. But leading up to that, we, we come out of the A over B chord, one and two and three and four, and, and this time instead of going one, two and three, four, like we did the first time to go back to the verse, we're going to go E, A, E. So instead of A to B, it's E, A, E. Then we go to G, and we play. So that G, I'm playing just your typical G, but a lot of times I don't use my index finger. So just mute that fifth string. We're gonna go G, A, back to G, A, then B minor. Okay, then we get this last little part here of the bridge. And this is really cool because we change keys here. So this is like our C sharp minor, but now on the second fret. Back to the original key here. So I played B minor for two bars, then G for a bar, then E minor to A. Okay, so notice before in this song we were using all E major, but now we've got an E minor, so we just take off that index finger. 
to A, then D, then F sharp minor, E minor, two, three, four, one, two, A, B. And then we're back to the verse in the key of E. So the whole bridge, again, from I still see her standing by the water, sounds like this. All right, now we're at the very last verse, so coming out of the bridge. Now we play the verse very similar to the way we've played it. We just have one final little twist at the end with like a surprise chord and a cool little walk down. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. Galveston, no oh Galveston. So the way you want to do this is we play the exact same thing as we did in the verse, but when we get to the C sharp minor, we're going to change. So it's going to go E, A, B, E, E, E major 7, E7, seven, A, F sharp minor, B7, seven, E major 7, E7, seven, A, F sharp minor, B7. Now here we go C sharp minor, B, A. G sharp minor, F sharp minor. So this is called a walk down. Now that G sharp minor is the same as F sharp minor, just two frets higher. Then walk down. Now here's the surprise chord. Okay, so you go to the C sharp chord where normally we had C sharp minor, but now we make it major. So F sharp minor. And C sharp, then reintro. We play that little lick, right? Okay, then from there we go back to just the good old verse, just like verse one again, and it fades out repeating that verse, but with a guitar solo. It's a baritone guitar playing, playing the melody over just the same changes. Congrats on making it through this awesome Glen Campbell song. Be sure to take your time with the different riffs and the chords in there. Some of those major sevenths and dominant sevenths might be newer chords for you, but just take your time. Your hands have to develop what's called muscle memory. So you have to keep putting your fingers on the chords and over time they'll get faster and faster and just do it intuitively. And to help you even more with this, be sure to download my fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five must-know chords and scales that I use to play in any style, anywhere on the neck. It's a super handy resource and it's all just on one page. I tried to make it as compact and as easy to understand as possible. So you can grab your copy at johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Be sure to leave a comment as well before you go. Let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Also, if you're interested in more Glenn Campbell lessons, be sure to check out the other ones that I have on my YouTube channel. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.